will be against Sweden. And this one is underway. Crowsguard throws it into the Switzerland zone. Siegenthaler, cross ice pass, and back in for Crowsguard. And we'll send it right back out to center. Siegenthaler, cross ice, and this gets sent in. Back out at center, bouncing puck, and Siegenthaler back into his own zone. Throws it cross ice for Rathgeb. Up for Kevin Fiala. Fiala with Mullen into the Swiss zone. Siegenthaler is after it. Good start by Switzerland. A couple of quick shifts getting pucks deep back to the point. A couple of shots, good pressure. Step four for Switzerland taking that one by Eller. And then Eller came back and got him and kind of blindsided him after that and he dumped it in. Good start so far physically to this game. Down low, trying to center it. Trua does. And by Daniel Nielsen, kept it at the far blue line. By Rathget, plays it down low. Ehlers is on it. Ehlers' his pass was in behind Mads Eller. And there is shot from the lines. Bergen then lost control of it. And right back for Nick Olison. Olison gets to center, spins and fires it deep. And we've got line changes for both teams. Siegenthaler. Plays it for Rathgeb, rink wide, with some speed, shot to the near side, that sailed off the stick and wide, and grabbed off by Pisson. Denmark unable to get any kind of control and any kind of pressure in the Swiss zone so far here in the early going. No, they can't get out of their zone, they're just dumping the puck out, they're not able to retrieve it. Deezer plays it in behind the net, Schwery is after it. Back for Beezer. Big hit in behind the net, and we are going to have... The back of a player and give it that little shove as you're going to the boards. That's where the call's made. Referee in the far corner. Put his hand up immediately. Switzerland two for eight on the power play, so they're operating at 25%. Denmark on the penalty kill at 81%. Scoreless here in the opening period. Kevin Fiala works it across the line. Logan back for Fiala. Timo Meyer back for Fiala. He'll play it back to the line. Siegenthaler back for Fiala. Shot blocked. And Mads Eller will chop this back into the Swiss zone. And Bjorkstrand giving chase. Daniel Nielsen felt that when that hit him in the side of the leg that shot for Fiala. Nine Nielsen. shots on goal, sorry, for Fiala so far in this tournament. Nielsen 247, a lot of body to get in the way of shots. Fiala had this skip away from him, tracks it down. Siegenthaler at the line, slap shot, whistle that one wide. Mueller on the far side in the battle, and that gets batted down by Pisson. And Switzerland. Look at that play right there. There's, this is what Denmark's problem is. They're not moving their feet, they're not skating, they're not initiating. Switzerland is by far the quicker team initiating play. Siegenthaler on the power play for Morgan. Morgan leaves for Fiala. Fiala finds some room. He did cross ice. Sorensen gets back into position, and there was no shot there for Timo Meyer. Rathgeb holds it in. Rathgeb sends it cross ice. Siegenthaler plays it low. Fiala in the high slot. Sorensen the save. Timo Meyer the rebound. Siegenthaler, second power play of the game for Switzerland. Back into the high slot for Fiala, and another save by Sorensen. In third game, obviously they got away from that a little bit, but while the shifts are short, their line is getting out there more often and more fresh. Last game, Bjorkstrand logged a total of 24 minutes. It's a lot of ice time in this tournament where there's not a lot of time in between games. Battle in behind the Switzerland net. Hishi plays it rather than Denmark. That chance he cuts goal! They haven't been engaged in this game at all. We had a couple of hits early by Olaf Son Mads, and other than that, there's there's been no emotion in this game. A very tentative Denmark team. Switzerland taking full advantage of that. A couple of power plays and a couple of goals. And that last one was it looked like a power play, but it wasn't five on five. 66 seconds between the two goals. And Switzerland with a 2-0 lead.
Dennis, we watched this tournament. One thing in this tournament, Denmark is a team that is, has usually got pretty good quickness. They haven't shown it in this game whatsoever. They're a team that really forces the play. They don't have a lot of finish and a lot of uh, goal scorers on the team. They've relied on the power play for four or six goals, but they have pushed the pace in the games. In this game, they just sat back. Look at Fazima blue line. Rap gets for Siegenthaler. The shot goes wide. Off the sideboards, Fiala had it knocked away from him. Fiala comes up with it, and then Fiala got stripped of the puck and back for Ogard. Ogard for Asper. Asper a bit of the Swiss zone. Denmark in need of some offensive chances. They have only had three shots on goal in this opening period. Lead pass now for Ehlers. Ehlers across the line, fakes the shot. Ehlers leaves it for Bjorkstrand. Score! with the puck. He picks this puck up, realizes it's kind of a one-on-three. He's going to wait for Bjorkstrand to come in, but Ehlers turns and goes to his backhand, and everybody focuses on this play. Instead of taking the body, he's got everybody watching. That allows Bjorkstrand just to come in, pick the puck up, go to his backhand, and a fan on the... 2-1 in favor of Switzerland in a period that they have dominated. They have outshot Denmark 12-4. Ashleyman in across with Timo Meyer, or rather Morgan back for Meyer. Meyer tees it up. The shot kicked away by Sorensen with Fiala in front. Chipped off the boards by Olgaard and back in the Swiss zone. Siegenthaler is back for it, plays it for Rutka. The long lead pass for Meyer. Meyer with Fiala heading to the front of the net. Fiala now takes the pass in the corner. Eskerot closes in on him. Asperup is trying to tie him up as well. And Asperup comes up with the puck. The center finds a little bit of room and then slips it into the Swiss zone. And then to the bench on the line changes. Olaf Eller sends his big line right back out. Penalty coming up to Mirko Mueller. Eller. Has Denmark on the board. This is where Denmark's at their best on the power play. Coming into the game, four, six goals on the power play. Eller is headed to the dressing room for Denmark. Ehlers, Nick Ehlers circling. Ehlers tried to come cross ice looking for Asperup. The pass got blocked. That is Larson back for Ehlers. Ehlers for Bjorkstrand. The shot, they flew the save. Olmosen out on this power play in place of Eller. Back in for Bjorkstrand for Mads Larson. Back for Bjorkstrand. Asper takes the pass, leaves it for Nick Ehlers. Quick to Bjorkstrand. And Dick Clue with the save. And a good one. Bjorkstrand. Mads Larson. Back for Bjorkstrand. One last shot before the buzzer. And it got blocked. A little bit of pushback now. A power play for Denmark that's operating at 33.3% coming into this game. They were 2 for 3 against Russia. They were 2 for 5 against the Czech Republic. They went 0 for 4 against Sweden, but they're on the power play here as the second period gets underway. Aspera for Bjorkstrand and back for Aspera. Looking for Ehlers. Ehlers off that far side. In front of the net is Mads Eller, so he's okay after getting shaken up late in that opening period. That resulted in the penalty. Ehlers down low! Take Clue, I'm not sure if he got a piece of that or not, but what a chance from the goal line. Ehlers. That was just a miss by Asprup. Completely missed the net, had the double clutch to get the pass. We saw the same play in the Olympics last year in Belarus. Yes. So he not only saw him in training camp, he also got to see him play up, 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 against the U.S. Schmidley down the left side, lets the rich middle looking for Christian Jensen. That got turned away. Rat gets back. He got bumped at center ice. As Eskerod stood up on him. Christian Jensen gets stripped of the puck, and then Jensen may have got away with a bit of a hook. Grabbed off and cleared to the line, but not out. Pizzini plays it back down low for Noah Rod. Rod finds a little bit of space, then got bumped on the play by Big Nielsen. Jason Cooks back to the blue line, and the shot that did not get through as Rafkev had that blocked. 
Looks like the first period for Switzerland, moving the puck extremely well. Good quickness down low. Fuchs dancing in the corner, allowing himself plenty of time to play junior hockey in Switzerland. More lucrative. Shot gets by Trevor. Ehlers has to be careful. That was a bad giveaway. The offensive blue line, his teammates were tired. They're now just getting off. That could have really been dangerous. Rasmussen on the turnover. The shot hits a stick to rebound. Sharp angle chance for Trua. And there was room as they flew over, played it. And that just sailed wide to the far side. Find no further. Bjorkstrand follows up. Bjorkstrand gets chased back by the checking of Luca Fazzini. Fired in by Matias Lassen. In on the four check is Olison. Olison took the puck away from Rathkev. Couldn't find an open man. As Denmark now trying to get a little more physical in that Switzerland zone. Here comes Noah Rod. Storms an easy save. And the rebound grabbed and cleared by Christian Jensen. That's what Denmark needs to do when the puck's in their zone off of rebounds. Is Exit the zone quickly. They got caught in the first period and they had only but one shift this period where they've been stuck in the zone chasing. They can get that puck and move it out of their zone. They're going to stay in this game. Back on Eller centering that bit. Here comes Ehlers. Ehlers across the line. Ehlers going wide, trying to go around Siegenthaler, and Siegenthaler is going to get a penalty for boarding on Nick Ehlers in Denmark. With Odie. Couldn't see it the whole way as Denmark ties it up again. A power play goal by Denmark. That has been their main part of their offense in this tournament. And that was without the number one offensive line on the ice. Dave Kluge picked it up late. He looked to his left. And by the time he recovered, realizing the shot was coming to his right, just couldn't get to it. There's a chance in front for Timo Meyer. How big score! Speed through the neutral zone. Siegenthaler steps up as a defenseman. Leads the rush, puts the puck to the net. There's no shot on the initial rush, but you can see Sorensen doesn't quite get back to the post. He's facing the along the near side, couldn't trap it. Eller. The lead pass intended for Ehlers does not connect. Controlled by Schwery. Trying to get it to Tim Beezer. It's to the line for. The defenseman Rathget. Rathget being watched. Down low. And Sherry stripped of the puck. And that will allow Denmark through the middle of the ice. Bjorkstrand got tripped up and a penalty coming up. Both He's looking for a penalty on the on the hit. Cleared back into the Switzerland end. Siegenthaler plays it to the blue line. Kept in though. Ogard. Plays it cross ice, and now the Swiss starting to get a little physical. Perhaps a little frustration as they've outshot Denmark 26 to 16, but certainly a little more jump to the Denmark game. Chance out front coming into this period. Going back to the start of the third period against Russia, Denmark had been outshot 118 to 47. And thus, we talked about George Sorensen. For Fiala, he was wide open. Blasted from the line, and Sorensen to save. Eskarot trying to block it, and now Olgard is on the loose puck, and he will get it out of harm's way. Almost a costly turnover. Fiala was wide open on the far side, and the pass just a little too hard to handle. Yeah, Nielsen went straight up the middle and got picked off, and a couple of passes later, Fiala almost had to tap it. Siegenthaler chased back in behind his own net. Rathkev deflects it. It comes back to him as Trua held it in. Trua after it again, ties up Fiala. Fiala spins off the check and sends it out at center at Timo Meyer as the period will come to an end in this game for Kevin Fiala. He leads all players in that category. Third period is underway in a 3-3 tie. Turned over at center, Asper back in for Denmark. Dodge to check from Siegenthaler. Morgan down low is after it. Morgan is stripped to the puck. And finally corralled and 
Morgan will play it for Siegenthaler. Up for Meyer. Meyer gets it to center no further. And snapped right back in by Crowsgard. Fiala. The Nash. Fiala. Has it stripped away. Here comes Bjorkstrand. Siegenthaler's in pursuit. Over to Ehlers. Oh, and he tried to feed it back to Bjorkstrand. What an opportunity for Denmark. That goes for not. Slap shot from the line, and that caught Rathke. He got his gloves up. He was taking that right in the face. He put both hands up, but you're absolutely right. What an opportunity on a two-on-one. The two players you want on the two-on-one, and not a shot. Bjorkstrand delayed, thought he'd get it to Ehlers. Ehlers tried to come back on a one-timer to Bjorkstrand, and it, there was nothing there. Olgaard chases it at the line against the checking of Rathkip. Down for Asper, up and Siegenthaler comes across to knock it away. Rathkip back for Siegenthaler. Four on four for another ten seconds. Jason hooks the wrist shot, that got blocked and turned right back up the ice. Eskerod ahead for Olgaard, Olgaard for Asper. Pulls up inside the line, the wrist shot off the stick. And uh, it's looking for Truett. Siegenthaler's going to have to chase this down in his own zone. Trua is in after him. Up the boards to Kroon. Ehlers in the spot. And the quick blast by Ehlers just missed glove side. Jason Fuchs in for Noah Rod to the backboards. But there by Eller. Eller and Larson on the loose puck. Still there, boys. Noah Rod digs it out of the pile into the high slot. That got tipped away. Kept in by Siegenthaler. That changed directions, that may have gone off. Winds his way through center, backhand pass onto the tape of Mads Eller. Eller runs square in the end of Rathgeb. And then Eller makes his way to the bench. Yeah, Rathgeb and the Plains Whalers does a great job of stepping up in the neutral zone. Eller saw him coming and kept up, plays in the big line. He's a big kid, doesn't look like he's moving quickly out there for his size, but he gets there and gets the job done. Switzerland two for ten on the power play. Fiala plays it for Morgan. Meyer back to the blue line. Meyer for Ratka. For Morgan. Top of the circle, Morgan. Plays it off the backboards for Meyer. Siegenthaler now takes the drop pass from Fiala. Down for Meyer, back for Siegenthaler, now for Fiala. Fiala looking for a lane. Fiala takes it around. Short side chance. That got steered away. Sorensen still looking for it. He thought it was in his feet. Rathkeb all the way in from the line, down in front of the net. Siegenthaler gets it back. Siegenthaler dishes off. Timo Meyer, the stick shatters. And that allows Denmark to gain control and clear down the ice by Andre Passan. That was impressive. A uh, stick break. That stick almost got to the net. The puck did, but the stick almost made it all the way to the net. Luca Fazzini has a power play goal in this tournament. Fazzini in the front of the net. Sorensen stretches that left leg absolutely as far as possible to make a save. Sorensen a save on the short side from Noah Rod. Pressure now centered. Another save. That one off Fiala. And now Bjorkstrand chases it down. Zone. What a play by Fiala to get that puck to Vizzini down low between the legs and found Fiala to the side. And a great defensive play there by Malgan to knock it away from Bjorkstrand. I'm not sure if that was Malgan or if it was uh, Eller took it away from Bjorkstrand. Either way, Bjorkstrand wasn't happy the way Bjorkstrand threw his head up. He thought his teammate knocked it away. Fiala in across the line. Fiala runs out of room. And Bjorkstrand back for Denmark. Bjorkstrand for Aspera. Aspera inside the line, gets a little bit of help from Ehlers. Ehlers to the line, too hard for Eskerod to handle, takes it off the sideboards, sends it deep. Big hit as Ehlers dropped the shoulder on a reverse shoulder there into Mulgan. The Mulgan got that in the head. Deep pass sent in by Rasmussen. Siegenthaler's after it. Cleared, turned over. Olsen the shot to the front of the net, and getting back was Rathke to block it. Fiala being watched by Olsen, who dangerous move. 
If they want to take a shot at Sweden tomorrow for top spot in this pool, Switzerland must win this game in regulation. Lead pass deflected in. Sorensen will make the glove save. The corner, Fiala drops it back. Pizzini slap shot, whistled it wide. Switzerland with a late push here. No rod. Into the slot for Pizzini. Ehlers closed in on him quickly. And that was maybe a glove pass, but it was inside the line. Here comes Bjorkstrand. Bjorkstrand trying to dance his way in. Can't do it without a stick. Good job, though, by Bjorkstrand to pick that stick up all in one motion. Saw that in the Chicago game last night on the goal by Andrew Shaw. He had lost his stick. He stopped with his foot, picked it up, and scored the goal. In for Asperup. And his teammates can score one for him. He can't score one. At least not with unless the net's empty. He's hoping his teammates will maybe win this one in overtime. He's gotten them to overtime twice, but he hasn't been able to get the W on his column. And he did get a goal in that Division I tournament. He did? Yes. It was the final game against yes. France. He launched one up. It was short-handed. He can shoot the puck. We haven't four, seen it in this period. This four game. on four. Fiala with the shot. That got blocked. Back to the line. Siegenthaler tees it up. Siegenthaler for Fiala for Meyer. The shot got blocked. Eskerod got in front of it. Rathgeb sends it around the boards. Fiala waiting for it. Naz Larson is after him, and the puck is loose for the Ogard. Ogard carries in. Line change now for Denmark. Ogard sailed it high and turns and heads to the bench. Good job by Denmark defending Fiala and Meyer blocking shots. Turned over at the line. Crowsgard tries to play some give and go. And that got deflected away as Ehlers tried to get it back to the... Rathgeb goes cross ice. Wide open, but able to tip it in was Beezer. Siegenthaler, Rathgeb, four on four here in overtime and a 3-3 tie. Down for Beezer. Hishi in the high slot. Now Hishi gives chase. Mads Larson ties him up. And that allows Mads Eller to come up with the puck. Geezer closes in on him quickly. Now for Hishi. Hishi back for Geezer. Siegenthaler tees it up. His stick breaks. Down the left side it is. Asperup dodges the check. Grabbed off by Rathgeb. Smart play by Wieser to give Siegenthaler a stick as that puck went deep. Siegenthaler went back with Wieser's stick and was able to control the play. If he didn't have a stick, Denmark would have acquired. Jason Fuchs back to the line. Siegenthaler, the low shot that went wide, and Ehlers is going to grab it. Lays it back for Krosgaard. Krosgaard shovels it across. And then, yes. Oh, oh boy, Esperant. Don Chalantinga. Ehlers, three Swiss players close in on him. Ehlers tries to go cross ice. Ehlers now in a battle in the neutral zone. Excellent job, Jason Fuchs. Strength defensively on Ehlers.